In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and breaking down exactly what I think in a live uh, online weekendly gameplay of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel or you have not subscribed yet, we upload videos every single day that can help you get better in Madden 21 through offensive and defensive strategies as well as gameplay tutorials just like this one. So if you want to hit the subscribe button down below, it's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna be running the nickel 335 wide defense. It's my favorite defense in the entire game. And if you wanna get my entire uh, nickel 335 wide uh, tutorial, you can get that in the description of this video for just $15. Uh, I'm also gonna be running trips tied in on offense. If you wanna get that tutorial as well, um, you can get that down in the description below for just 10 bucks. So some really, really good uh, content available. Now right here, looks like my opponent throws in the triple coverage. Unfortunately, we're not able to get the interception, but I've actually got something I wanted to share with you from a lineup perspective that I'm doing a little bit differently. Um, you might have heard that golden tickets obviously are out in mutt. Uh, one of the things, one of the most underrated things, uh, in my opinion, about golden tickets is most people don't realize that the the uh, the linemen that are golden tickets, like the J or the linebackers, I apologize, like the Jadavion Clownies and stuff like that, um, they actually get the ability lurker which if you don't know this about lurker lurker is an ability that you can put on your linebackers that will help them in pass coverage it will basically um, make your linebackers react a little bit better to passes when they're thrown in their area and so um, what i've what i've done is that in my defensive line here i've got Javon Clowney, as you can see and zadarius smith both of those players um, i've actually got the ability on them to be able to basically the lurker ability for one ap and it's going to basically allow them to just be able to kind of you know take take advantage of little things like that just react a little bit better in zone coverage and as you see it's actually paying off for me a lot i'm also rocking mid zone ko and flat zone ko on all of my guys so that they'll jump really well in those underneath routes and then we're playing really really heavy uh zone drops like 30 yard cloud flats uh, 10 yard curl flats and 10 yard hook curls which i talk about in the defensive guide so again if you want to get the defensive guide it gives you everything that i know about defense and you can get that in the description for just 15 bucks we walk through how to stop a lot of the meta that you're going to face in weekend league or in money games or in tournaments you're going to be able to stand tall against it with this defense Okay, so on offense, like I said, I'm in trips tied in. Uh, I believe trips tied in is it's my favorite offense in the game. I think it's definitely one of the best. Um, we're actually going to be focusing a lot in this weekend league series on just kind of establishing the run a little bit with this quick base and then also being able to just do some very simple little underneath passing concepts to really just rely on our defense to win us games. Now, obviously, the offense can be explosive and is explosive, but we want to be, uh, you know, as conservative as we possibly can, especially in, you know, games like this, just because uh, it just helps us to be a little bit more consistent. And so that's kind of the goal here. So anyways, here, going to go to a little underneath hitch concept. This is one of my favorite passing concepts in the game. It's really hard for the defense to consistently stop these concepts from a zone look. One of the things really quickly about trips tight end, that you'll notice unless they're running a man aligned defense which some advanced players will be using man aligned to kind of stop trips tight end specifically for trips tight end what you'll notice is that if it's zone coverage the corner on the right will stay if it's man coverage the corner on the right will move to the other other side so like in this example right here we're pretty confident that it's zone coverage but we're really going to just check down it looks like he's in dom 146 so this is a great opportunity to just hammer this quick base home uh, i believe this quick base is one of the best runs in the entire game now, I've actually got a new little red zone scheme that I'm running that I wanted to talk a little bit about in this video as well. Um, I'm leveraging the power of the quick base. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm actually going to put Derrick Henry here in the slot right here. And on the outsides, I'm going to put Vernon Davis uh, and uh, Chris Cooley. What this allows is it allows me to have a full complement of my offense. It allows me to have the quick base. It also allows me to be able to audible down in the goal line. Um, it, it's just a really nice little personnel. At this point in the season, um, you, you know, especially down here in the red zone like this, you don't have to have super fast players because everybody's pretty much the same speed with give or take a couple of points here or there. And so the beauty of this is it allows you to have a lot of flexibility in your offense. So like right here, you'll see, now I'm gonna go down to this fullback dive, and now he's in a little bit of a difficult position um, to have to stop this, right? So now we can go to fullback dive, we've got the ball on the three yard line, he's not in a, a goal line style defense, and we're able just to power forward with Derrick Henry for the easy touchdown. This is honestly my favorite way right now to run in the goal line, is to leverage the power of the trips tight end, um, specifically 
from the lens of using the quick base in combination with like the bubble screen. Those are both really, really good plays if your opponent happens to come out in, in a goal line style defense. But if they come out in their base defense, whether that be three through five wide or big nickel over G or nickel normal or something like that, that's going to give us an advantage if we want to head down to the goal line and try to run the fullback dive. So it's really a good little goal line scheme, really having a lot of fun with it. And uh, that's why the trip side in is such a good offense. It's got an answer for everything. And if you want to get my entire offensive guide, you can get that down in the description. But as you see there, it's very simple. The most important thing about trip side in, if you're going to run this as an offense, you really want to be patient. It's an offense that is definitely designed for you to be patient with it and simply just work the ball up and down the field. You don't want to try to like go over the top every play. You want to go over the top very intentionally, strategically. Um, so anyways, back on the defensive side of the ball, um, pretty good first drive, nothing too crazy. Uh, one of the things that's really important in Madden is that you don't beat yourself. And what I mean by that is don't outsmart yourself. Right, if, if Mike Blitz 3 works for you um, and works for what they're doing, as you see right here, we get the nice interception for Carl Banks, gonna be able to get in the end zone. Just do that, keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it. It's super, super important uh, in this that you just simply do exactly what you know you need to do to get the W. For some people, you're gonna have to get out of Mike Blitz 3 and you're gonna have to use some of the quarter stuff that we talk about in the defensive guide. You're gonna have to use some of the um, specific principles for specific situations. But if you don't have to do that, don't force yourself out of a defense that is working. I think that's super, super important. Uh, we're gonna force people in this in this in this game uh, in this weekend. We're gonna force them to have to beat some of the basic stuff first. Uh, if if I have trouble beating Mike Blitz three, if you have trouble beating Mike Blitz three, chances are your opponent's gonna have some trouble beating it as well. Um, and I find that for myself, whenever I um, normally, this is just my personal opinion. Whenever I find myself giving up, you know, one play touchdowns or giving up big plays uh, to my opponent, it's typically because I'm out of position. It's not necessarily that I have a bad play call. It's typically because I'm out of position. And so uh, we're kind of trying to take a little bit of an extra step uh, to making sure that that doesn't happen uh, with this defensive scheme. Right there, you kind of threaded the needle a little bit. Um, that's a little bit of a mistake on my part. I got to know that that route can beat me and uh, wasn't able to wasn't wasn't uh, able to get out there. Right here, he's gonna to try to run a little quick snap situation. Now, I know I've got this three rep on the left. Uh, good call by him to go to the inside zone there, actually, really good call. And now you see here, he's moving a little bit, kind of getting into a rhythm. And so we're gonna to have to kind of adjust a little bit. Here, we're gonna drop this three rep on the right side this time. This means that we have to be responsible for the left side seam. If he throws left side seam, uh, he's running short side trips right now. So uh, potentially could be an inside zone. A lot of people like to go to inside zone on short side, or this right here, PA crossers. Really good defense all around. Everything's guarded and nice pressure from the uh, from the golden tickets there, Jadavion Clowney and Montez Sweat and uh, Zadarius Smith. So that brings us to uh, this third down and two situation. Pistol bunch tight end, could be strong power. We gotta watch this guard on the right side here to see if he is gonna go. And he is gonna go to the run and actually is gonna scamper forward, get a couple yards. And we're just honestly staying super consistent right here. I believe that we get the ball at halftime, so we're in a really good spot. I talk about this pretty much every gameplay I try to, about the importance of kicking the ball off if you can. You always want to have your coaching settings um, set to kick the ball off every time if possible. Uh, you really don't want to be playing any other way, in my opinion. It's the way to play. Now, right here, uh, we're only you know two, we're only one quarter in, so there's plenty of time for him to be able to come back in this game. So we've got to stay disciplined defensively. See, he is going to go to the stretch. We've got a nice little three, three, five. This is our passive run defense, and you can see there we're able to stop one of the better runs in the game for just a yard or so. And that's the beauty of the three, three, five wide. I don't think people realize how good of a run defense it actually is, and also at the same time how it gives you the opportunity to have the best personnel possible uh, in the entire game. So right here, I've got a yellow zone to the left. If he runs vertical to the left side, or a yellow zone to the right, if he runs vertical to the left side, I've got a safety there, but I do got to kind of watch for that. And right there, there's exactly what I'm talking about. That's a 10 yard curl flat with flat zone KO and mid zone KO. And as you can see right there, DK Metcalf with his long wingspan, able to jump that and get us a nice pick six. And that's gonna wrap up this gameplay. Uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Biggest thing, biggest takeaway from this game is if it's working, don't stop doing it. Keep going to it, keep it simple. Thanks for watching and we'll have some more games for you down the road.